Over the past couple of weeks, we've tortured and abused Sonic the Hedgehog, and today is no different. Today, we're going to be continuing tradition and figuring out how fast can you touch fire in every Sonic game. So starting off our torture of Sonic, we start in Sonic 1. So fire is very interesting in Sonic games because fire can be considered many things like the explosions from badniks, from what badniks shoot out, to other things. And what I, I think what I'm going to determine as badnik fire is it has to be red or like a, a tan orangey kind of color for in order for me to count it as fire. If it's like yellow whitish colors, I'm not going to count those as fire. Now, we could count this over here since Dr. Eggman's little whatever has fire coming out the back of it, but I, uh, fine, whatever, we'll, we'll count it. Next is Sonic 2. But as you guys saw, fire is a difficult concept because I very well could have just gone to the, like the badniks. Like, the badniks have fire coming out the back of them, so I could have just done that, but I, I don't know. It's very, it's just difficult, okay? Now, fortunately for us, this one actually has a badnik that shoots out what we clearly see is fire. Next is Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Now, Sonic 3 is a little different. So after looking all stage for a badnik, we actually can come over here to this boss fight over here and after we defeat it, he actually lights up the entire forest on fire for us. Thank you! <laughs> Next is Sonic R. Now Sonic R is a very simple game. As you guys can see in Regal Ruins, we can just touch those fire torches over there right next to us on the left. Kitty! Now, as it actually turns out, you cannot reach these pillars over here, even if you're double jumping, so we just gonna have to find it somewhere else. God damn it. Now, these ones that I found over here, you can actually double jump and touch? Touch! We're we touch these, okay? <laughs> Next is Sonic Adventure. Now, in the first level of Sonic Adventure, th th there's no fire, I mean... <laughs> now, Emerald Coast is a very interesting stage because these enemies over here actually throw bombs at you. So after further discussion, after I called my friend on the phone and asking him if bombs count as fire, we came to the conclusion that bombs do indeed count as fire. <laughs> Next is Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure 2 is a game full of everything. A game where you can touch grass, touch water, listen to good music, commit to acts of terrorism. <coughs> <coughs> now we could count this rail grinding as touching fire, but yeah, no, uh, nah. But something glorious happened. Sonic shoes actually made fire from I, I don't even I don't know how, but they made fire, and I'm not entirely sure if I should count that because Sonic's touching himself. Whoa! So since I decided to not count Sonic touching him, <coughs> making fire from his own shoes, I decided to count these rockets. Next game is Sonic Advanced. Pretty sure in this game we're also gonna have to find a badnik to actually do this on. And here's said badnik, and it counts because it's actually an orange color. <laughs> Next on our list is Sonic Advance 2. And similar to Advance 1, I'm pretty certain we're gonna have to find. Are you gonna throw something at me? Nope. Okay, irrelevant. It also turns out that the stingers in this game, hornets, whatever you wanna call them, they actually don't shoot you in this game. They just can't. Like, stop stinging me! Now, we do have this boss battle where we have to rescue Cream from Eggman and his uh, car explodes, so. I and, uh, fire! <laughs> Next is Sonic Advance 3. Now, for Sonic Advance 3, I'm either going to have to go to an enemy, or I'm going to have to wait for a boss battle for this one. But I did actually find this badnik, which actually shoots out fire, so we're just going to get hit by him. <laughs> Next is Sonic Heroes. Now, Sonic Heroes is a game I actually played before I recorded this video, just to, like, see, like, see what I'm dealing with here. And surprisingly enough, there, there's not that much fire to touch here. Now, as expected from basically beach levels, there is no fire here. And this one's very interesting because the bullets he's shooting could be considered fire. The thing is, these can be considered as bullets, so I'm not gonna count this one as fire. Now, the good thing is, in Power Plant, we actually have fireballs, which makes our job at recognizing fire a lot easier. <laughs> Next is Sonic the Hedgehog. Sh God damn now, Shadow the Hedgehog is a very simple game because all you have to do to touch fire is... <laughs> okay, now it's Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic 06 is a very simple game because we could just go to this flammable box right here and explode it. <laughs> Next is Sonic Secret Rings. Now at the beginning of the stage we get this over here which are fire torches on top of the ceiling or hanging from the ceiling but we cannot reach them because Sonic can't jump high enough. But later on in the stage we actually get enemies that actually spit out fire so that's great. <laughs> Next is Sonic Rivals. 
Now, Sonic Rivals is a very interesting game. Actually, both of the Sonic Rivals games are. As you guys can see in the corner, I actually got... See, like, right there, I shot a fireball at him. And I'm not entirely sure if I should count that. I think I'm only going to count when the fireball either hits me or when I get the fire shield because that's an actual power-up in this game as well. As you guys can see, I'm getting the ice right now, but there is a fire one. And here is said fire shield. Next is Sonic Rivals 2, which is very similar to Sonic Riders 1. Riders? No, it's Rivals! This one did take a while, but we finally touched some fire. Next game is my sweet, glorious baby Sonic Unleashed. Now, similar to Sonic Adventure 2, I'm not gonna count rail grinding. <clears throat> and over here, this doesn't count as fire because, um... Well, they're not hitting me, so, so it doesn't count. But once we reach Missouri, we actually have to touch fire since there are torches right here. Great! Next game is Sonic and the Black Knight. Now, after playing the first couple stages in Misty Lake, we get to Camelot Castle. Now, later on in the stage, there's this actual random just patch of fire, which is very convenient. Thank you. Next is Sonic Colors. Now, after the first couple stages, it has come to my realization, there, there's no fire here, so we move on. Fortunately, once we actually get to Tropical Resort boss battle, he actually spits out fiery and rings once we actually defeat him. Next is our favorite, Sonic 4. Now in Sonic 4, we have to wait for the Hornet to shoot us, and that's it. I'm not playing this game no more. Next is Sonic Generations. Now in Sonic Generations, what the Badniks actually shoot out is a little, it's a little too light for me, so I'm not gonna count it as fire. Now I know I've forgotten Sonic Generations in a handful of these videos, but we're just not gonna, we're not gonna discuss, okay? Anywho, in Chemical Plant, we actually go through fire over here, so I, we're gonna count that. Next game is Sonic Lost World. Now, as I thought, there is no actual fire in the first couple stages. Now, in the third level, we actually have fire torches at the end of the level, which we can, we can, we, we, we can reach these. Of, of course we can. Next is Sonic Mania. Now, for Sonic Mania, I was going to try to find the fire shield, but the enemies in this game actually have the correct shading of fire. Next is Sonic Forces. So, in Sonic Forces, there are no actual enemies that shoot you, at least that I saw because, well, I literally sat in front of them for like a couple seconds and nothing, nothing seems to shoot me, so and we move on. Now, in the third stage, we clearly see that we're in a run-down, fiery town, which we are hoping that a meteor actually lands on us. Now, unfortunately, no meteors actually fell on us, so we actually have to rely on these very convenient hornets over here. And now, we finally reach the end, Sonic Frontiers. Now, in the first stage, we're actually not going to have any fire at all, unfortunately. After the cyberspace level and we get to the open world, we can actually come over here, and after unlocking the side loop, we can approach the next puzzle, which, fortunately for us, actually has some fire for us to touch. Woohoo! And now, after figuring out how fast you can actually touch fire in every Sonic game, our loser is Sonic Heroes with a time of 27 minutes, 51 seconds, and 51 milliseconds. Thank you guys all for watching, leave a like if you enjoy, subscribe for more content, and see you guys next time.